Hey everyone, in this tutorial we're going to explore the new EX Plus feature in iClone 7.9. In the 7.9 update, we provided a demo project for EX Plus, which you can find in the Content Manager or the Smart Gallery. The demo project is being shown here, and you can see that it includes animation which demonstrates the range of facial expressions available with EX Plus. If we load up the Face Key Editor, you can see that there are a whole bunch of sliders in the Custom section of the Modify tab. These are all the new blend shapes that are included with EX Plus, which help to provide much more detailed and subtle facial expression. There are 52 sliders that come with the Apple AR Kit, as well as an additional 11 sliders for the tongue provided by Reallusion. Apple's AR Kit is an exceptional new technology that provides greatly improved detail for facial animation, as you can see here. One important thing to note right off the bat is that if your CC3 Base Plus character was created prior to the launch of 7.9, you'll need to update the EX Plus data. You'll notice that if we go into the custom section of this particular model in the face key editor that all the sliders will be disabled. You'll see that there is an EX Plus expression set in the muscle tab as well as some EX Plus expression styles in the expression tab. If you select one of the expression styles, you'll be prompted to update to EX Plus. Once you do, you'll notice that the custom section sliders are now enabled and you'll be able to select expression styles as well as choose the EX Plus expression set. If your character is not a CC3 base plus, then you won't see any of these options in your face key editor, and you'll need to update your base mesh. We need to do this in Character Creator, so we'll hop over there briefly. To do so, you can click on the button at the top of the Attributes tab once your character is selected. Be aware that this will reset your character's skin weights and some mesh penetration may occur as a result. Next, let's talk about using the face key editor to modify your character's expression. Back to the demo project, we can search for different sliders in the custom tab by entering a term in the search field. Here I'm going to search for jaw and increase that value, then go to mouth and close the mouth. This allows us to open the jaw and close the mouth simultaneously, which is something that we couldn't do in previous versions. You can also move the jaw forward, which is a new slider value with the AR kit as well. Since ARKit only contains a single embedded tongue slider, Reillusion has provided an additional 11 in order to provide a more detailed tongue animation. As you can see here, there are a wide variety of tongue sliders that allow you to generate a much wider array of tongue animations to complement the other facial features. Let's take a look at the face key muscles and expressions now. In the Muscles tab, there are three expression sets to choose from. Let's take a look at the EX Plus one first. One small improvement made to this tool is the new mirror option, which allows you to auto-select the muscle on the opposite side of the face whenever one side is selected. I'll select a few facial muscles to move at once. To move them, you can simply click and drag anywhere in the muscle tab, and the muscles will then follow the movement of your mouse. All the muscles selected will move simultaneously. Once we do a bit of movement, we can also go over to the custom section of the modify tab and see which sliders were used after our adjustment. A neat little tip when adjusting your facial muscles is that if you double right click on any of the parts, it will reset that specific part back to the default value, whether it is highlighted or not. If you double left click on the black space area surrounding the dummy head, that will deselect all highlighted parts, which is the same as clicking the clear selection icon in the top right. I'm going to select the jaw to demonstrate the sensitivity slider now. You'll notice at first that I need to click and drag quite a ways to fully open the jaw when the sensitivity is at default. However, if I increase that sensitivity, then the jaw will reach its fully open extent with less mouse movement. Next, let's take a look at the EX Plus tongue set. We'll start by turning the sensitivity back to 50 first. When you have the EX Plus tongue set enabled, then the mouth muscle selection areas will adjust the tongue instead of the lips like you see here. You can curl the tongue, change its elevation and depth, and even make it move simultaneously along with the jaw as you open and close the mouth. Moving on to the Expression tab, you'll see that there are four new expression style sets for EX+. These expression templates take full advantage of the expanded range of blend shapes that come with the EX Plus improvement in order to create much more vivid and dramatic expressions. There are also a wide variety of tongue presets that you can use to start off your tongue animations as well. Each style set also has a default value that allows you to reset the entire expression back to the default neutral one. Next, let's take a look at how EX Plus affects the Face Puppet tool. When we open up the Face Puppet tool, we can see that there are now seven new profiles that you can use. Once you've selected a profile, then you can select different sets in the full face control section at the bottom. 
The closed preset means that the mouth will remain mostly closed, although certain levels may open the mouth slightly. The same emotional templates with the open preset will open the mouth more due to stronger jaw movement. For EX Plus open and closed, each full face control preset represents a different emotional state. You'll find ones that are happy, sad, disgusted, and angry, allowing you to generate emotional facial animation with a few mouse movements. There are also ones specific to the eyebrows that will puppet the eyebrows exclusively. You can also choose the eye profile to move the eyes around in a certain fashion, whether it simply be looking around casually or squinting. The mouth presets allow you to generate unique lip animations like snarls, curling lips, and all sorts of unique animations only made possible with the new EX Plus morphs. There are also a variety of presets that combine the lips and tongue together, as well as some unique mumble profiles. These profiles mimic visine shapes on the lips and can be used in a variety of unique scenarios in combination with other presets when you layer over, which we'll talk about in another tutorial. There's an auto blink dropdown in both the facial puppet panel as well as the attributes tab. This will synchronize regardless of where you adjust the setting. There are a few options here, but we suggest choosing none in order to create more accurate expressions. Finally, EX Plus is also utilized via Motion Live Facial Capture, which provides much more accurate mimicking of the facial expressions used by the actor. In this case, we're going to demonstrate using live face and an iPhone. You'll notice that there is a lot more flexibility and expressiveness, particularly around the mouth region. You can stretch and distort the lips to create a much better capture than was previously available. That's really all there is to show about the basics of the new EX Plus improvement in iClone 7.9. By combining this new improvement with the new CC3 Base Plus models and skin gen materials, you can now get unparalleled animation performances as well as incredible visual realism to make your projects more eye-popping than ever. Be sure to check out our other tutorials on the new improvements with iClone 7.9 and keep updated on our forums at forum.reillusion.com. I'll see you in the next video.